And then computer equipment maintenance. Appoint a person to look after the computer equipment maintenance. So somebody needs to be keeping an eye on the gear. If, if something's overheating or running hotter, I used to um, go in in the racks when we had physical racks before everything was in the cloud. I used to go in and shoot the back of them with an infrared thermometer to see which ones were running hot today. We used to keep a log of that kind of thing. So uh, you could kind of sense a problem before it was going to happen. Heat destroys electronics. Wiretapping. Inspect all the wires um, carrying data routinely and then protect the wires, shielded cables, never leave a wire exposed. So if you cut a wire, you need to replace it. Um, that's another reason that neatness is important. <laughs> Have you ever seen the pictures where there's, um, if you Google um, wiring mess or something like that, there's a lot of different ways you can find these pictures. They're just wires everywhere behind servers going across the room. You got to step over them. It's like, you know, getting through a laser beam field, trying to climb and sneak into their behind the rack to do something. Inevi inevitably, you're going to step on something. You're going to pull a wire loose. These things are held in with plastic. I weigh 200 pounds, 250 pounds. So uh, it wouldn't be hard for me to pull a wire loose, right? So these are things you want to pay attention to. And neatness is important for airflow as well, not just for pulling the wires loose. But it's more important that the wires don't get pulled loose than the airflow, really. So, um, I mean, all of it's important, but if you have to assign a priority, you don't want to pull one loose because then you don't know which one it is. You've got to go and troubleshoot it, and that can be a nightmare. Uh, wiretapping. Okay, first of all, wiretapping is illegal. We cannot do it. Do not sniff VoIP packets. If you do, get rid of them immediately because you're not supposed to have them. So if you do sniff, if you do sniff uh, VoIP packets accidentally, do not listen to them. And um, you want to inspect all the wires carrying data and protect the shielded ones and never leave wires exposed, right? So we just discussed this and it's illegal, so don't do it. It's a federal offense. You get in a lot of trouble even if it was mundane and somebody finds out about it, it's going to be a big deal. Don't make any notes about it. Don't log it. Don't leave an evidence trail if you accidentally do it. So don't, don't go and say, oops, this happened, unless you need to say, oops, this happened. Like if it's logged where you can't touch the data without, you know, a log being created, then you need to raise the alarm. Hey, I logged some VoIP packets. I didn't listen to them. You know, it was harmless, you know, whatever. It's still not going to matter if somebody complains, right? Environmental controls, this is a big one. So we have humidity, air conditioning, HVAC, which is heating, ventilating, uh, ventilating, ventilation and air conditioning, fire suppression, electromagnetic interference shielding, and hot and cold aisles. So what is all this stuff about? So humidity it needs to be around 60% at most, 40 to 60%. Uh, you don't wanna shock the gear. That means you have too little humidity. You need more moisture in the air. If you have too much moisture in the air, it can cause corrosion and shorts in the equipment. So that's a fine line you want to maintain, and that's important. Now, that's not cheap either when you're designing a data center. So that's where the HVAC comes into play. You want to have redundant systems, and then you want to have the proper type of fire suppression. Obviously, we're not going to squirt water on a server rack. You need some, the right kind of fire suppression. Uh, fire is very likely, so you need to put some thought into that. Uh, fires do occur in data centers. There's a lot of high voltage electricity running in there. You got a lot of drive spinning, so there's a little bit of vibration on that chassis, uh, which is causing chafing. So you want to make sure you run the wires correctly so that it, they, can, they don't get chafed and then cause shorts. You're more concerned about the high voltage than the low voltage with respect to fire, but all kinds of things can happen. Um, EMI shielding, so you want to make sure that one machine malfunctioning producing some electromagnetic noise doesn't interfere with something adjacent to it. So you want to run shielded cabling through data centers. There's a lot of data going through there at high speeds. All kinds of things can happen there. Uh, we talked about RF is like black magic. So you want to make sure you're running shielded cables in these environments. And then hot and cold aisles. So when you have uh, racks of servers, again, if you've ever been to an Equinox data center, I'm picking on them today. Um, you have the fronts of the servers facing each other. And then you'll have a row of, so you, we have the fronts of the servers here in this aisle, and then we have the backs of the servers here on this aisle. This aisle is where all the air is being sucked into, and it goes up. So then the cold air comes up out of the floor, and the, or it's dumped into the front of the server. So you have a front server aisle, and you have a rear server aisle, and it, 
it oscillates like that. So front, back, front, back, front, back, like that. So the cold air is dumped in front of the servers and the hot air is pulled. So you have a supply and a return. So that's what they mean by hot and cold aisles. So you have a cold air aisle, fresh air, where it's coming out of the AC system. It gets sucked through the server rack and then right back up into the return and then recycled and so on and so forth. So that's, if you walk down the data center, you'll see that that's how they're arranged. All the cages are set up according to that kind of thing in a good data center. So that's important. So you don't want to build a data closet in a closet, right? So it's good because all the equipment's out of the way, I can lock it and that's wonderful. But now you've got a heating problem. You're gonna blow up the machines because you're gonna add one rack, one server, it's gonna be fine. Then all of a sudden your business grows and now you got 10 servers and now it's not fine. So it's gonna heat up the room to a point where it can no longer tolerate the temperature and then you're gonna have all kinds of problems. Mm -hmm.